Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss few Viva questions or interview questions related to microbial biotechnology. Okay, so all these questions are random depending on different different uh, subtopics which are included under microbial biotechnology. Okay, so just to give you an idea what kind of questions you may get, please watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel and do like these videos and do share these videos with your friends. Okay, so let's start. So very first, what is microbial biotechnology? Now microbial biotechnology is the application of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, yeast to develop different products or they are used in different processes for industrial, agricultural, or environmental and medicinal purposes, okay? Uh, it leverages microbial capabilities in fields such as biofuels, pharmaceuticals, industri uh, industries for enzyme production and environmental cleanup, okay? So you can see we are dealing here with industrial microbiology, agricultural microbiology, environmental microbiology, pharmaceuticals, okay, immunology, even with the uh, bioremediation, biodegradation, biofertilizer, biopesticides, etc., etc. So there are different topics that you need to cover up when it comes to microbial biotechnology, okay? So how are microorganisms used in the production of biofuels? So microorganisms, particularly bacteria, yeast, algae, uh, they are employed to produce biofuels such as ethanol, biodiesel, biogas, etc. Now, why we are working on this? Because these are uh, alternatives to our fossil fuels, okay? So to reduce our reliance on uh, these fossil fuels, we are now trying to switch on to these biofuels, okay? So for example, yeast, they ferment sugars into sugars and starches into ethanol, while algae, they are used to produce lipids that can be converted to biodiesel through genetic engineering, okay? Now, what role do microbes they play in bioremediation? So in bioremediation, microorganisms, they degrade, detoxify or transform pollutants like oil spills, heavy metals and pesticides in contaminated environments, okay? So you, you if you are not, uh, good with bioremediation concept i have already uploaded two videos with uh, detailed theory explanation on my channel so you can watch those videos then i have videos on biopesticides biofertilizers biocontrol agents etc so you can watch those as well now bacteria and fungi they are commonly used here in bioremediation to break down the organic pollutants or immobilize harmful substances making them less toxic or more easily attractable, okay? Now, next is about recombinant DNA technology, what it is and how it is applied in microbial uh, biotechnology. So, uh, recombinant DNA technology, uh, very first example that comes to our mind is when we learn about insulin production, right? So, that is a good example of recombinant DNA technology which involves the insertion of a specific gene into a microbial cell to create genetically modified organism. And we use them to produce valuable products, okay? That can be insulin, that can be growth hormones, that can be antibiotics, etc. So the technology is used to enhance micro, uh, microbial efficiency for large scale production of our desired products. Now, can you explain the role of microbes in enzyme production? So microbes are a major source of industrial uh, enzymes like amylases, chitinase, cellulose, uh, cellulases, lipases, and proteases, etc. Now they are used in industries like food, textile, then uh, detergents, etc. Now these enzymes, they are produced via microbial fermentation processes and they are essential for catalyzing some biochemical reactions in various applications, okay? So that's the role of microbes in enzyme production. Now, what are microbial biosensors? So already a video is uploaded on biosensors, so you can watch that. 
so just to give you an answer for this particular question in two lines by Bi microbial biosensors are devices that uses microorganisms or their components to detect or quantify specific substances okay such as toxins pollutants or nutrients now they are used in environmental monitoring medical diagnostics or and food safety to provide rapid and sensitive detection okay so it is also very a very interesting topic so if you have not done this yet you can watch that video and get your concept clear next is about crispr so what is crispr and how is it used in microbial biotechnology so crispr that is clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats that stands for crispr now is a geno it is a genome editing technology uh, derived from bacterial immune systems okay it allows precise modifications of microbial genomes in microbial biotechnology this is used to engineer microorganisms to improve productions of biofuel in pharmaceutical processes and for enzymes also this is used as well as to study the gene function okay separately if you are uh, conducting a experiment where you just want to focus on a gene function you can use this crispr technology okay now how are microbes used in the production of antibiotics so we do uh, antibiotic screening okay then which uh, microorganisms are showing clear zone they are selected and they are further tested for the kind of antibiotic they are produced okay in a simple way to revise so many antibiotics such as penicillin streptomycin tetracycline they are produced by microorganisms okay particularly bacteria like streptomyces uh, which is uh, actinomycete and fungi that is penicillin now microbes naturally produce antibiotics to uh, inhibit the growth of competing organisms right in their environment so they have this natural ability so industrial biotechnology harnesses these microbes for large scale antibiotic production then next is what is microbial fermentation and what are its industrial applications so microbial fermentation is a metabolic process where microorganisms they convert sugar in alcohol uh, organic acids gases or other chemicals now fermentation microbial fermentation is widely used in industries for producing alcohol beverages organic acids biofuels pharmaceuticals etc now yeasts bacteria fungi are the key players in industrial fermentation then another is what are extremophiles and how are they useful in biotechnology so extremophiles uh, there are different types of extremophiles uh, on this topic also i have uploaded two videos you can search those on my channel and watch them to get your concept clear so extremophiles are organisms which thrive in extreme conditions like high temperature high acidity high salinity or high pressure so these microbes they naturally have enzymes which are stable in these extreme conditions so we can use these enzymes okay like thermostable dna polymerase like uh, tac polymerase uh, that are valuable for industrial processes molecular biology processes okay like pcr okay so this is the simple answer for extremophiles then how is microbial biotechnology used in agriculture so in agriculture we use beneficial microbes for improving soil fertility for enhancing the crop growth controlling the plant diseases etc for example nitrogen fixing bacteria uh, like rhizobium they are used to boost soil nitrogen levels and pesticides uh, derived from bacteria like bacillus thuringiensis bt brinjal bt cotton you must have heard so these come under biotechnology okay microbial biotechnology so we use them to help control pests without harmful chemicals use okay next is what is metabolic engineering and how is it applied in microorganisms so metabolic engineering involves modifying the metabolic pathway of a given microorganism that is metabolic engineering now it is done to enhance the production of desired products such as biofuels pharmaceuticals or chemicals 
Now by manipulating genes that control these pathways, scientists they can optimize the microbial processes for uh, industrial applications, different applications. Okay. And last three questions. So what are biofertilizers and how are microbes involved in their production? So same way you can get question what are biopesticides. In same way you can get a question what are biocontrol agents. Okay. So all these videos are available on my channel. So you can watch those. Okay. So biofertilizers are substances that contain uh, living microorganisms which when applied in uh, agricultural field or to seed before sowing they promote the plant growth or they increase the availability to the nutrients or they uh, protect plants from different diseases okay so it depends what kind of biofertilizer organisms or the consortium you are using so they can have different different applications as well now microbes such as nitrogen fixing bacteria phosphate solubilizing bacteria uh, mycorrhizal fungi they can be used in biofertilizer so there can be a biofertilizer of single microbe or there can be uh, different microbes mixed okay so mixture of different microbes useful microbes is known as consortium okay now how do microbial biofactories work is another question so microbial biofactories they are referred to as uh, use of genetically modified organisms to produce viable uh, valuable substances such as drugs means antibiotics okay then biofuels and industrial chemicals now these microbes are engineered to carry out specific biosynthetic pathways okay they are engineered to carry out specific biosynthetic biosynthetic pathways allowing them to act as mini factories that convert raw material into desired products simply fermentation okay nothing new the next and last question is what are the ethical considerations in microbial biotechnology now ethical concerns in microbial biotechnology include the safety of genetically modified organisms the potential of accidental release of harmful microbes into the environment then development of antibiotic resistance and issues related to biosecurity okay so these are other topics ethical concerns which are related to microbial biotechnology for example uh, controversies uh, related to uh, bt brinjal bt cotton okay using those okay to give you an idea that what ethical concerns we are talking here about okay so residues it might happen that a particular chemical which is uh, secreted by a bacteria the residues are there left over in the given product and we are consuming that so these are the ethical concerns we are talking now regulatory frameworks are in place to assess the risk and ensure the responsible use of microbial biotechnology okay so it is going to be always like 50 percent of the population is okay with the use of microbial biotechnology and 50 percent is against okay so it depends how much we are getting in contact with these uh, microbial biotechnology related products okay so i hope this video is useful to you all do like these videos do like share and subscribe to my channel okay thank you